Russian movies about the Great Patriotic War. Some of the presented movies were removed directly during war, when a circle were hunger, fear and pain, because of loss of relatives. Here is a list of some Russian films about the Great Patriotic War that are worth watching. All these films have been translated into English, or subtitles have been added to them. You will find them all on YouTube. Two soldiers. A story of infantry soldiers on the Leningrad front during the German invasion of Russia in World War II, which stresses the importance of friendship between combatants from different regions and ethnicities. Seventeen Moments of Spring The 1973 Soviet 12-part television series The series, based on a popular novel of the same name, depicts the exploits of a Russian spy, Isiv, working undercover as Stan Artenfer Stierlitz in Nazi Germany during 17 days in very end of World War II. Stierlitz has worked his way to the very top of the RSHA, main Nazi security and intelligence agency, without being caught. <laughs> Only old men are going to battle. The title comes from two scenes in the film where the squadron is facing very difficult dogfights with German fighter planes, so only old men are sent up, while those fresh from flying school have to wait on the ground together with the mechanics. Soon, of course, the newcomers have replaced most of those veterans and have become old men themselves, taking to the skies, while a new group of newcomers wait on the ground with the mechanics. They fought for their country is a 1975 Soviet war film based on the eponymous novel written by Mikhail Sholokhov and directed by Sergei Bondarchuk. It was entered into the 1975 Cannes Film Festival. The film is the story of a Soviet platoon fighting a rearguard action during the German drive on Stalingrad. The film was selected as the Soviet entry for the best foreign language film at the 49th Academy Awards. Liberation is a film series released in 1968 and 1971. A five-part Great Patriotic War epic drama that gives a dramatized detailed account of Soviet Union's war against Nazi Germany from 1943 to 1945. Each of the five parts represents a separate major Eastern Front campaign. The first part deals with the 1943 Great Tank Battle of Kursk. The second part details the September 1943 Lowered Dnieper Offensive.
The third part depicts the various stages of Operation Bagration during the summer of 1944. The fourth installment of the epic deals with the January 1945 Vistula Oder Offensive and the final segment climaxes in the April-May 1945 Battle of Berlin. The fifth film, The Last Assault. The film tells about the capture of Berlin and the storming of the Reichstag. In the end, the main character, Captain Svetny, dies while saving the inhabitants of Berlin during the flooding of the subway. The hot snow. November 1942, near the Volga, Stan Lingrid is under siege of Commander Friedrich Paulus and his 330,000 men. The Soviet High Command unleashes an operation to protect the Mishkova River to avoid that about 400 tanks join Paulus's army. The Soviet artillery soldiers protect their position with their lives in a bloodshed with few survivors. <laughs> story of a real man. At the heart of the dramatic history are the real facts of the biography of the fighter pilot Alexei Marizhev. Shot in battle over the occupied territory, he for three weeks made his way through the snow-covered forests until he got to the partisans. Having lost both legs, the hero subsequently shows an amazing strength of character, again sits at the helm of the aircraft and replenishes the account of air victories over the enemy. White Tiger, the film is about a badly wounded Soviet tank commander on the Eastern Front of World War II, who becomes obsessed with tracking down and destroying a mysterious, invincible Nazi tank, which the Soviet troops call the White Tiger. The Soviets design a new, more powerful T-34 tank and assign the tank commander the job of destroying the White Tiger. On the road to Berlin. Summer 1942, a young a communications officer, accused of cowardliness is sentenced to death by firing squad. A surprise attack by the Germans delays the execution, and the convict and his guard are forced to flee. While attempting to deliver the convict to headquarters a friendship develops between the guard and his captive as the two go through several adventures and battle the Germans. Sababur. The film is based on the Sababur revolt which occurred in 1943 in German-occupied Poland. The main character of the movie is the Jewish Soviet soldier Alexander Pechersky, who was a lieutenant in the Red Army. 
In October 1943, he was deported to the Sababur death camp, where Jews were being exterminated in gas chambers. In just three weeks, Pechersky planned an uprising with prisoners from Poland and other locations around Western Europe. This uprising was partly successful, allowing roughly 300 prisoners to escape, of whom roughly 60 survived the war. fate of a man. The Soviet soldier, Andrei Sokolov, has been separated with his family by World War II. Suffering in Nazi captivity, he dreams of meeting his darlings after the victory. But cruel fate turned out otherwise. The story of a man whose life was ruthlessly crippled by World War II. His wife and daughters were killed during the bombing of his village, he spent some time as a prisoner, and his only son was killed in action only a few days before the victory. Come and see. The film's plot focuses on the Nazi German occupation of Belarus and the events as witnessed by a young Belarusian partisan teenager named Flyora, who against his mother's wishes, joins the Belarusian resistance movement and thereafter depicts the Nazi atrocities and human suffering inflicted upon the Eastern European villages populace. Based on a true story of teen criminals in the Soviet Union during World War II. The Red Army has a gang of juveniles for a clandestine operation against the Nazis. The boys are trained by a dangerous crime lord at a top secret boot camp. They are doomed to die in the mission, or after it, just to keep it a secret. As alternative to prison, they are trained in the mountains of Armenia for a mission in Nazi Germany to blow up an important installation. All but one boy dies. Most die during the rigorous training, and some die in Germany. Two, Escape from Hell. Mikhail Dvitev. Mikhail Dvitev. Based on a true story, memories of Soviet Union pilot Mikhail Dvyadeyev. <laughs> Summer of 1944. In a battle with German fighters, a Soviet pilot, Mikhail Dvyadeyev is shot down over enemy territory and is captured. Now he has to make a choice, die in a concentration camp or go back to the sky, but on the side of the Germans. The pilot chooses the third option, escape. Now I will stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
But how do you hijack a plane from a heavily guarded military base where the Nazis are developing retribution weapons that can change the course of the war at the last moment? Fortress of War. Fortress of War is a 2010 Russian Belarusian war film recounting the June 1941 defense of Brest Fortress against invading Wehrmacht forces in the opening stages of Operation Barbarossa, Nazi Germany's invasion of the Soviet Union during World War II. Events are narrated from the perspective of 15-year-old Sasha Akimov, centering on three resistance zones holding out against a protracted German siege. The filmmakers claim that the plot is as close as possible to historical fact and that the Brest Fortress Museum supervised the plot thoroughly. Convoy 48 Yesterday's Leningrad schoolgirl Masha Yablochkina, after a fierce blockade winter of 1941-1942, comes to the railway courses hoping to survive and gain strength. From there, the girl is sent to the construction of the Schlüsselberg Highway, which connects the city with the Great Land and is in direct sight of German artillery. So the heroine gets into the 48th locomotive column of the Special Reserve NKPS, which at the cost of the deadly risk, is to deliver to Leningrad 75% of all cargo and military equipment. Tankers. The movie inspired by real events tells the story of the KV-1 tank's crew heroic deed. Having a losing fight, the crew of Semyon Konovalov destroyed 16 enemy tanks, two armored vehicles and eight vehicles with enemy personnel near Niznimidyukan farm in Tarasovskoye district of Rostov region. This is the story of not the poster heroes, but broken, cheerful, and very diverse guys who just wanted to live. At the decisive moment they managed to do the only right thing and performed the deed worthy of the legend. Battery number one. It's August, 1944. The Soviet troops continue the offensive in eastern Poland. The Lieutenant Igorov subdivision gets the task to hold the bridge to be crossed by the Soviet army units. <laughs> On arrival to the position the soldiers find the destroyed monastery and the group of deaf-mute orphans with their teacher Eve inside. Eve has lost the faith 
but she finds the sense of life in taking care of and saving infirm and defenseless children. There is complicated choice for Igorov, if he executes the order of the headquarters he has to compromise the little Poles. The artillerymen try to do their best to prevent children's death. Popular Russia